Last week, details of a new government report on unexplained aerial phenomena came out. Intelligence officials found no evidence that these a or UAPs or UFOs are alien spacecraft, but they also didn't completely rule it out. They also couldn't offer an explanation about what they actually are. Advanced technology from a foreign government, maybe? Out-of-date radar on American warplanes? One thing that they did say, the technology is not part of some advanced U.S. program. Joining us now to talk more about the report and what it does and doesn't reveal is investigative filmmaker Jeremy Corbell, whose website, Extraordinary Beliefs, first released many of these videos. And we should mention, uh, first of all, Jeremy, welcome. Thank you for being with us. And I was going to point out the fact that the Pentagon has uh, signed off on these videos. So you do have the Pentagon's uh, stamp of approval on them, so to speak. I'm curious your reaction to the government report, which really leaves us asking a number of questions still. Yeah, and it's great that it leaves us asking a number of questions. Here's the point. The United States government has admitted finally that UFOs are real. They're advanced aerospace craft that are moving with impunity through our restricted airspace. The biggest thing that was leaked out about the report that's coming this month is that these are not advanced U.S. technologies. So that takes off of the table one of the things that people have been wondering for decades now. UFOs are not U.S. bound. So, so where do they come from? Who's operating them? What's the intent? Jeremy, what do you think, though? I mean, what is, what, what, the worst thing we fear is that it's a foreign government and they're spying on us with much greater accuracy and much greater technology than we have, or it's someone from a different planet, which would be totally fascinating, but equally terrifying as well. Where, where do you fall on this? Well, I, I'm not terrified by it. You know, UFOs have been with human culture since the beginning of recorded human history. They have been documented by military pilots since human beings have been in the air. So is this an adversarial foreign nation that leapfrogged U.S. technology by a thousand years plus back in the 50s? I highly doubt it. That That is starting to dwindle as a possibility because Russia and China also have UFO, UFO exploitation or study programs. So the question is, is this something more exotic? All we know is UFOs, they are real and they represent a technology which we do not have capacity to replicate. And that's a huge deal. And when you, when you say more exotic, what do you mean? Well, there's a lot of options. Look, all I know is UFOs are real. They're flying in our airspace over restricted airspace, such as nuclear facilities. They've actually intervened with our nuclear weapons. This is well documented. The military has admitted to this through FOIA requests. We have the documents. So the question is more exotic. You know, where are these things coming from? Who has an advanced technology that outpaces, outmaneuvers, and outperforms anything the United States government has ever created? Who has it? There's the two pilots that we saw in 60 Minutes, you know, a few weeks ago. That was wild. They talked about flying down super low to seeing this little, I don't know, it's called like a tic-tac thing, about the same yeah. size, but no fumes, no wings, no, had nothing, same size as their F-18 or whatever it was, but and then it was just gone. Here, and it just evaporates all of a sudden and takes off at a much faster rate. Yeah, so you're talking about Commander David Fravor, who chased the tic-tac-shaped UFO for the United States military. You're showing images right now that I released, the Pentagon confirmed. I released those with my mentor in journalism, George Knapp. That's warships, Navy warships off the coast of California that were swarmed by UFOs. Now, yes, Commander Fravor engaged a tic-tac-shaped UFO, and a man named Commander Chad Underwood is the one that filmed it. Look, we, are, we have sensor data. We have FLIR video. We have corroborative sensor data that shows UFOs are swarming our restricted airspace. So this is a big deal. It's a big deal. The United States government is yeah. finally admitting after 71 years of secrecy. But really, though, this final report is will be released to the Congress. Uh, June 25th, so right around the corner, but it's not going to be made, it's classified, right? So w what, is, what does that say? Well, not exactly. So finally, a representative government is looking at the question of what are UFOs? You know, they're, they're there, our pilots are having near misses. That report should be 
wholly unclassified. There should be a little bit of classified index, but we are hoping the United States government, the Department of Defense, is transparent, UFO transparency, with the American public and the global public. So, you know, you can bet yourself that most of it is going to be unclassified. All right, Jeremy. <laughs> I'd like to see myself get as excited as you. I'm a little more anxious about it right now. Yeah. It's just a little Don't be anxious. anxious. Don't be anxious. Look, UFOs, they've been here for a long time. The question is, it's a new reality, and we need to understand what they represent. And I'm really excited. It's a, it's a really interesting time in human history. What are they? Or who are they? Yeah, uh, yeah. it is unnerving. You Jeremy Corbell with the website Extraordinary Beliefs. Uh, we appreciate your your time and your video. Thank you so much for being with yeah, us. Well, pay attention. There's more video coming out. I'm just not even started yet releasing video. Oh, cool. <laughs> Very good. Okay, Jeremy, He's that's a good. The wiki of UFOs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. There is a new.